Computer desktops have always been two-dimensional, which is the most practical dimension. However, I recently found out that 3D desktops are a thing. Long story short, it's the worst thing I have ever tried. Let me show you what I mean. So this is bumped up and it's been around since the year 2006, but surprisingly it's supported on Windows 11, which is why I downloaded and set it up. Once you've opened it, your desktop by default transforms into this 3D box. I will go ahead and skip the tutorial, as tutorials are for losers. Ok, now how do I use this? Maybe I shouldn't have skipped the tutorial. We can move around this box by double clicking each side, and I guess that offers you more space for whatever you place on your desktop. We can also adjust for the icons to be able to be rotated. And there's so much more, as this comes with so many unique features. I have to say that I especially love this grow feature, because you can grow files to fill literally the entire desktop. I like how you can just throw all of your files around and they just bounce off of the walls. Wait, what the hell? What is it even hanging on to? We can enter this close-up view where we can see that the icons themselves are 3D, which is pretty cool. Also, when you add new icons to the desktop, they just flop from the sky. But I have to be honest with you, this current theme is getting kinda old, so I want to change that. So we can choose from four different preset themes. Each of them looks pretty good, and you can even set your desktop wallpaper as floor for your desktop. If you wanted to get more themes, you can press this get more themes button. However, this project is so old that I guess it doesn't even work anymore. You can even tell it's old since it uses the old Twitter icon. To organize our desktop better, we, first of all, have the option for grid, which is what we are all used to. However, there is also something called pile. What it does is puts all of your selected items in one pile. You can then quickly leaf through the pile, although it's not quick at all. Let's just break our pile. Actually, you know what? I think I need more text documents on my desktop. Hmm, I think we're still a bit short. Now that's what I'm talking about, holy sh- Our 3D desktop is super laggy right now, I think they need to optimize this program a bit more. Weirdly enough, this project was actually acquired by Google, but they never did anything with it. I think they just bought it and forgot about it, because it hasn't been updated for like a whole decade. It also probably works better if you have like a touchscreen computer, because you can just use your fingers to brush your desktop items together. With the cursor you can still do that, but I guess it's not the same. What's funny is that this comes with a very interesting image viewer. It plays this long ass animation whenever you open an image, and you can choose to share it over to Twitter, Facebook or email. Let's search for an image, Jim Carrey. Now let's set it here, here and here. And now, do I have something in my teeth? I guess not. Oh look, the bird can finally fly. The harder you yeet your icons around, the more they flip and do tricks. So this three-dimensional desktop also has a macOS version. So leave a like on this video if you'd like to see that. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.